Hello everyone and welcome back to another Disney Magic Kingdom's Decorate Your Kingdom video. We hope you are all well and we also hope that you are enjoying this series. If so, make sure to check out our dedicated playlist. We also have a playlist all to do with Disney Magic Kingdoms and if you enjoy playing the game, make sure to check out uh, one of our DMK live streams. If you do enjoy this video at any time, make sure to give it a big like. Get those comments in because we do love hearing from you. And if you enjoy this type of content, make sure to subscribe. Follow us on Instagram and threads at Disney Kingdomers to see lots of other Disney content. Today's video, we are talking about Belle's House and Gaston's Tavern. First, we'll go through all the in-game information that you'll need to know about these Disney Park attractions. Then, we'll talk about some fun facts and history about the real-life attractions in the Disney Parks. So, let's start off with Belle's House. So, how to build it. It is available in the Beauty and the Beast legendary chest. The building time is instant and the size of the attraction is 9 by 9. The activity it does is preparing in a, inventions. Uh, the collect time is 8 hours and the base rewards are 24 experience, 130 magic and a chance of getting Mr. Incredible's poster token and Belle's ears hat. This attraction does not have any enchantment and the collection of course that it is part of is Beauty and the Beast. Let's find out some fun facts and history about this attraction. Belle's house is the exterior, entrance and queue of the attraction Enchanted Tales with Belle which is a live interactive show. The attraction originally opened in Magic Kingdom at Walt Disney World as part of the expansion of Fantasyland in 2012. It then opened in Shanghai Disneyland in 2016 and it is called Bay Ling Storytime. It is also at Tokyo Disneyland as a fast pass station for Enchanted Tower of Beauty and the Beast. Okay, well, there's your fun facts and history about the attraction in the uh, real life Disney parks. Um, now let's find out about the other attraction, Gaston's Tavern. So how to build it? It is available also in the Beauty and the Beast legendary chest. The building time is instant and the size of the attraction is 11 by 9. The activity it does is washing the tankards. Collect time is 12 hours and the base rewards are 36 experience, 180 magic and a chance of getting LeFou's bow tie token and LeFou's ears hat. Like the other Beauty and the Beast attractions, there is no enchantment at the moment. And as I've just said, Gaston's Tavern is part of the Beauty and the Beast collection. Okay, let's find some fun facts and history about this attraction then. So, Gaston's Tavern is a quick service restaurant. It originally opened in Magic Kingdom at Walt Disney World in 2012 and then in Tokyo Disneyland in 2020. At Tokyo Disneyland, it is called La Tavane de uh, Gaston. This is the third Fantasyland uh, quick service restaurant at Tokyo Disneyland with a villain's name, with the first being Captain Hook's Galley and the second being Queen of Hearts Banquet Hall. The restaurant is themed to look like the tavern that features in the animated film when Gaston sings the song Gaston. The tavern features a portrait of Gaston over a large fireplace 
antlers hang upon the wall and also lined with barrels. Mugs and goblets can be purchased, but alcohol is not served. Instead, a non-alcoholic beverage has been created called Le Fou's Brew, which is an apple soda with a marshmallow foam topping, which looks like the beer served in Gaston's tavern in the film while singing the song. Just outside is a water fountain of Gaston holding barrels with his foot on Le Fou, holding mugs. Now, you might say... I recognise these, and you would be right, because Le Fou's brew and the Gaston water fountain can also be found in the game as a concession stand and a decoration. Um, so, yeah, it's quite nice to have those touches in there as well. After all that information, where should you put these attractions in your kingdom? Well, Disney Magic Kingdom's fandom suggests putting Bell's House in Fantasyland and the same for Gaston's Tavern. And I would agree as well. If you've seen our other Beauty and the Beast collection video, then you might have already seen these attractions in there. But let's take a look anyway. Um, I have a Beauty and the Beast area. As I've said before, I do take notice on what is on the outside of the areas. And as I said in the previous video, this looks like it could be featured in Beauty and the Beast. So I've got my Beauty and the Beast area here. And once again, I've got the attractions in uh, in front of each other. So we've got Bell's House at the back here. And then we've got Gaston's Tavern, which is showing the inside there. And we can see the Le Fou Brew. And we can also see the antlers. We can see the portrait of Gaston as well. It's got lots and lots of detail in that one which is great to see so uh hopefully you've enjoyed this video make sure to give it a like if you have and give us a comment have you got these attractions let us know if you if you did uh get them if you've got it in the event or if you got it in the legendary chest and let us know if you've got yours in Fantasyland as well. If you enjoy this type of content, make sure to subscribe. Follow us on Instagram and threads at Disney Kingdomers for lots of other Disney content. But yeah, that is it for this video. Hopefully you have enjoyed. And hopefully we get to see you in one of our DMK live streams. Or if not, hopefully at the next Decorate Your Kingdom video. Okay, well... That's it for me, and we'll see you soon. Okay, then. Bye.